Well, good morning, friends. I'm in a truck stop in Nashville. Spent the night here, it's very comfortable. I've got a couple stickers that I picked up along the road and some that have been gifted to me. I'm gonna put them on the ceiling. First one is Boogie Van. <laughs> now this is a cool one, this is the tail of the dragon that we were on yesterday. These stickers are having some struggles. For now, I'm gonna make my way to meet a friend that I haven't seen for a long time, another friend from the marina. So uh, we're gonna drive around Nashville today and I got my National Parks passport book here. I'm gonna look through this, see if there's anything that we can make our way to, but we're definitely gonna knock off a couple more locations in this book this week. So stay tuned for that. Today should be fun. I don't really even know what to expect. First things first though, we're gonna get coffee. So I'm gonna make my way to go pick my friend up and make a day of it. Let's go. Friends, welcome. Welcome, Hi. Ashley. We're gonna be hanging out today. She's already told me some really cool things that we're gonna do after this coffee shop, but we're gonna go into this coffee shop, get loaded on caffeine figure some things out yeah find some fun things to do yep cool let's do it all right cool. Thank you. Yes, Ashley what did you get I don't know <laughs> Ashley. Drayton. Where did you take me? Well, I have taken you to the Johnny Cash home, the old Johnny Cash home in Hendersonville. This place looks really cool. It is really cool. Let's get out and check it out. Let's. We saw some signs posted up on the fence up here. Let's go read them. Right here in the front by what looks like a little guard shack. It's this first plaque it talks about the caches, how they lived here for 35 years, partied at this house, recorded music, hung out. A couple years back, the house burnt down, but it used to sit right atop those, that limestone over there. Looks like they're doing some building. Right over here, this little building, that was the recording studio. Do you know what songs might have been recorded in that studio? I do not. Pretty cool fence. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like it has steps. 
Yeah. Like it's way easy to climb. Mm -hmm. yeah. Looks like there's some raised beds here or something. You get a two for one on this one. First plaque. The orchard. It's the other part of the property. The second plaque over here is really interesting. Apparently, Roy Orbison owned this property and had a house here and sold it to Johnny Cash after the house burnt down and three of his sons died in the house fire. So uh, Johnny made a promise to Roy upon his request that he would never build anything on this property. And it became the orchard where they had a lot of fruit trees and such for the Cash family. So interesting story. Somber, but interesting story. sure the man in black would have driven the van in black and probably would have called it the fantasy and parked it in this driveway of this property if he had the chance to own such a glorious van We have left the house of the man in black and we're now going to pay our respects to Johnny and June Carter Cash here at the final resting place. Hendersonville Memory Gardens. Memory Gardens. We're going to have some memories of, of things. In fact, one thing that I didn't tell you is I, I got to see John and, and June play on stage. Oh. Yeah, I was in the Billy Graham Crusade Choir in 1990. Okay. 91, I think. Yeah. And they came on stage. I was like, I don't know, 30 feet from them. I got to see them sing on stage. It was really cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Yeah. A fun story. Just a few months apart. Some might say died of a broken heart. Pretty modest resting place. These two very famous singers. I really like walking around cemeteries, just taking a look at all the names, and the dates, or how old people are, what happened to them, all the wonder. What do they do with their lives? What am I gonna do with my life? You know, makes you think, put things in perspective. You're only here for a little bit of time, but you can do some pretty awesome stuff like Johnny and June did. You know, spent their talents wisely, although he partied like a real rock star. It's probably where the term party like a rock star came from. It's from Johnny Cash. But, you know, did some awesome stuff. And I hope to do the same level of awesome stuff in my life. I hope you all get to do that too. It's a good place to reflect on such things. In case you're looking for Johnny Cash's grave, it's right across the sidewalk from the Garden of John. I'm sure of no relation in name. If you walk to the Garden of Luke, you've gone too far. 
turn around and go back past the Garden of John. So Drayton, do you know the difference between a cemetery and a graveyard? I do not. Okay. So what we're in right now is a cemetery. There is no church attached. Um, if there's a church attached to the burial area, it's called a graveyard. Ah, I did not know this. Graveyard. Random, random tidbits of information that I'll never forget. Perfect. Now, usually, friends, I end a little adventure by going to the VIP, Mexican Lounge. Well, today, Ashley has taken me to Dos Margaritas. Do you think we'll have two margaritas? I think we will. Probably so. Yeah. That's what they're insinuating, and I am a sucker for marketing, so we're going to have to do it. Do it. Actually, that was great lunch. It was really good lunch. Yeah. There's no VIP, but very close. It was. How many margaritas did you have? Oh, one. Yeah. I don't know what's with the name Dos Margaritas, but... No. What that is... Well, friends, if you like what you're seeing here, hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.